What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a slush rush Sea Titan snow team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Sea Titan, this Pokemon is a ton of fun to use. It's very fast in the snow and it's super bulky at the same time because we are rocking the assault vest as its item. Sea Titan is a pure ice type Pokemon, rocking the water terror type with ice shard, ice spinner, liquidation, and high horsepower. So we got two coverage moves, we got a first turn priority move, and we have a nice big time stab move that can also take out terrains, which is huge because, you know, terrains are such a big problem in this format. Now, the snow setter on today's team going to be a bomb of snow. You guys probably thought it was going to be a low nine tails, but we're switching it up today. We got ourselves a bomb of snow with the light clay as its item. It's got a war veil, it's got energy ball, protect, and blizzard. Now, the other four Pokemon on today's team are a lot of fun. You got Corviknight, you got Cinderace, you got Clodsire, and you got Kilowattril. Corviknight is going to be a nice, bulky Body Press user with Brave Bird, Bulk Up, Roost, and Body Press, obviously. And Cinderace is going to be a nice Choice Scarf Pokemon who can actually coach up other Pokemon. It's got Coaching, U-Turn, High Jump Kick, and Pyro Ball. Kilowattril is going to be a great Special Attacker with Tailwind and Clodsire. The Moon Clodsire thinks Yawn, Haze, Protect, and High Horsepower. Definitely a fun Pokemon. I love Clodsire's design. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing the Slush Rush Sea Titan team. Match number one on its way, and we're going up against a Weezing team. Now, Weezing always puts a rain on everybody's parade, taking away all abilities and kind of just changing the match for the worse. Sometimes for the better, but most of the time for the worse. They got Wimscott, they also got Volcarona, they got Weavile Garchomp, and Amoongus. And how should we honestly play this one? Because, like, if we go into Snow Combo right here and they go into Weezing, they kind of just, like, screw everything over and it's just not going to work well. So, I think going into, like, different Pokemon would be better for us. Maybe, like, Cinderace here early on could be nice. We could go into Cloud Sire. I mean, Cloud Sire is not bad. Or I can start bulking up at the same time. And I think going into maybe, like, Corviknight and Cinderace is definitely our play. So, that's going to be my lead right here. I am going to end up going into Bomb Snow and Slush Rush Sea Titan for late game. Because I'm thinking those two up front. Let's start coaching boosts, get those defense bulked up, maybe take out Weezing, and then we can have the snow combo roll out in the back end. Everything can work wonderful and dandy, and then we can just catch a win. Hopefully, that's the plan, but, you know, not everything works in our favor. It never works in our favor, or how we want it to be, so we'll see how this one plays out here. But no Weezing comes out here. The other W Pokemon, is this an all W team? Weavile, Whimsicott? No, you have Garchomp. I was going to say, <laughs> Whimsicott, Weavile, and Corviknight, or not Corviknight, and uh, Weezing? It would just be crazy. All, all three of them. All Ws. But, um, so we've all can fake out. They could set up a Tailwind on top of this. I really do like our typing, so. I think our typings work really well right now, so I think this is pretty much like a free bulk up. And we might honestly just want to coach up here and just start getting this core right just like over the top with all of its bulk. <laughs> like, let's just do that. So fake out's gonna fly into that slot. Totally fine. He's gonna taunt me. Okay, that kind of, that kind of puts a damper on my parade. Kind of puts a damper on my whole bulk up kind of play. But what he doesn't know is, I also have coaching, so coaching does the exact same thing. And I think for Wimscott, I'd rather get rid of this Weavile and leave Wimscott on the field. But at the same time, we're going to get these defensive boosts. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I might just Brave Bird Wimscott down. And you know what? We're just going to body press this Weavile. So body press Weavile. We're going to stick with coaching into the Corviknight slot. And he's going to give himself a nice little helping hand here. So helping hand comes out here. Coaching is going to come out here first because we are choice scarfed. Which is a beautiful sight. And we do change the fighting typing, which honestly isn't that bad. There's that. Defense is going to bulk up, which is great because Weavile is about to go for a knockoff here. And we're able to soak thank you to the fighting type. The choice scarf's gone. You now outspeed me, Weavile, which could be a little rough. But you're down to 1 HP, which is good news. So we've all down the one HP. Um, we're probably just gonna Brave Bird that just in case he wants to. Oh, you take my berry? I wanted that. I wanted that. <laughs> I wanted that berry. <laughs> I really wanted that berry. I really wanted that berry. But it's good to know that Wimscott is not sashed. Which means I can roost. Oh, not roost it. I can ice shard or I can Brave Bird that at any time and kind of just pick up a KO. Um, we're not coaching anymore. So I think I might just double down into this Weavile with a Brave Bird. Because Cinderace should outspeed the Corviknight now. Yeah, and I can switch my move into a Pyro Ball. And if it lands, if you go first, nope, Tailwind's gonna fly here first. So I was gonna say, we could uh, 
We kill the Weavile and then the, the Brave Bird would just slide over. But he ends up going for another knockoff and we live on one. A free Focus Ash. A free Focus Ash. A free Focus Ash just ruined everything. We're not even free Focus Ash. A miss attack. So we get a free Focus Ash and then we miss a Pyro Ball? Come on now. That was my whole plan. Would be like Pyro Ball would take out the... The Weavile and the Brave Bird would slide over and get rid of the one's cut because it's not focus ashed. Oh man. That's ugly. That's real ugly. That's a real ugly miss. That's definitely a real ugly miss. I would just coach again at that point. But Volcarona is gonna come out here. Um this is a good turn for us to terrestrialize into straight fire and just brave bird somebody down. Probably Volcarona with this attack boost. And I mean if I can get off a of pyro ball, I'll go for it. We'll see how this one plays out here, because we're, we're terrestrializing our Corviknight here. I, I feel as if we can get rid of this Volcarona, we're kind of sitting in a really good position with the Snow Squad in late game. But come on, man. I really missed that. I really missed my attack. <laughs> it really sucks. It really does. It really does. But out comes our Terra type. Straight Fire, which is actually a really good type in here. Up against Volcarona. And Volcarona could start Quiver Dance boosting, which can get really scary. But I think Corviknight might be able to one-tap it. I mean, stab super effective Brave Bird does some damage. He's just gonna protect Volcarona. Volcarona gets to protect, um... And Moonblast is gonna finish us off. It's okay. It's alright. Wish I would've went, for, would've went for another bulk up. We could've had this thing boost it like crazy. <laughs> All the protection and miss attacks. But still, they still have Terra, which, um, I can see Volcarona potentially popping now. Um, I could go into a Bombasso. I could just go into you. I think just going into a Bombasso, maybe just, like, protecting, kind of reading out the turns, is probably our best bet. Because, like, one Heat Wave just absolutely dumps on it. But we don't really need a Bombasso. We're kind of going to rely on Corbinite to kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting. But I am curious to see who they potentially go into here. Because they have one turn left Tailwind, two turns left in Tailwind. You have Terran, you're gonna Thrasilize. You are gonna Thrasilize. So I Brave Bird to Whimsicott down? I think I just stick with the Brave Bird here. I really do. And just protect. So how comes protect? No Terra type. This is odd. This is odd. I believe they still have Terra type. Whimsicott's gonna go for a taunt here. So Whimsicott goes for a taunt. Volcarona goes for that Heat Wave. I'm gonna block that. And Corviknight's gonna soak this up, no problem. It kind of sucks, like, I wanted my Citrus Berry. Like, that Citrus Berry got stolen as well. But Brave Bird's gonna rip here. It should KO. And it does. That's a big time KO. And now I can sit here, either set up a War Veil, start slamming Blizzards. I feel like I got a few different options. Let's just see who their final Pokemon is. So I'd love to just Roost and set up a War Veil, to be honest. And it's gonna be Garchomp, which kind of screws things up a little bit. But at the same time, I think this is what they were saving their Terra type for. I think we just go for a. I think we just go for a simple Brave Bird and we attack here. Brave Bird and Blizzard. Brave Bird and Blizzard. And there's their Terra type. That's what they were waiting for. The Terra type's gonna fly here. Um, again, Garchomp's scary with like a. Uh, okay, Steel Terra's gonna pop out here. But Garchomp's scary with uh, more so. What's it called? With a ground move in the Corvid Knight. And he's gonna go for Helping Hand EQ, maybe? Is that is that your play? Is that your play? Helping Hand EQ? Helping Hand Rock Slide. If you flinch my Obama Snow, Corviknight's able to soak. Nobody flinch. Cool. Brave Bird's gonna finish off Whimscott. That is massive. Bye bye to you. And please don't flinch because I need to just start chunking up damage here. Did I die out the recoil there? Or did I survive? I died out. Hurts the soul. But still, Corviknight, thank you for all the value you pulled out. Thank you for all the value. Obama Snow goes next. Land is Blizzard. Beautiful. Beautiful, no flinch has happened. And their tailwind is finally gone, which means my slush rush C Titan can come in at the perfect time. Be able to outspeed, drop some high horsepowers. We're looking good. So my plan working really perfectly. Love the shiny C Titan. And we waste out tailwind and we get out our snow squad at the perfect time. But um, we're gonna go into a high horsepower, and then we go into I guess it's just a blizzard, like energy balls, okay. Could set up an Aurora Bell if I want to. I could definitely set up an Aurora Bell, but I'm just gonna go Blizzard. It's 100% accuracy in the snow, and plus we have a freeze chance. And did my high horsepower just miss? What is going on? What is going on here? What is going on here? What is going on? Just missing moves, dude. Just missing them. 
That would have been game. We'll go for another high horsepower. We will go for another blizzard. <laughs> and he's gonna go for a rock slide again. But we're out speed, and that should be game. Beautiful. Dope. Awesome. 1 0 to get this video started. Like I said, we'll have Core of Night, Cinderace, get things started, and then we'll have our Snow Squad in there for the late game. And everything worked out perfectly. So far, so good. Your boy is sitting 1 0. We went up against a Weezing Squad in match number one, and now we're going up against a Galarian Weezing Squad in match number two. Now, we didn't get to see Weezing in match number one. Hopefully, we won't see Galarian Weezing in match number two. It could get very annoying, but I, I definitely think we're going to see it in this matchup right here. Um, they got Toad Scroll, which works really well with with that uh, Weezing. So I kind of just want to go back into these two. I just think this, these two are just like a simple lead. And then I think we just go see him squat. I really do. I love the ice types here. I mean, if we can get rid of like Typhlosion or Volcarona, I think they only bring one of them. We should be fine. I like it. I like it. I could go into Cloud Sire instead. Instead of maybe like... C Titan. We really need C Titan. Plotsire might be better here. No, you know what? We're going to keep C Titan. We're going to keep it. So we're sitting 1 0. This one definitely seems like it could be a bit tougher. I just feel like they got a lot more power. And I feel like they are going to utilize the Weezing here, which our opponent in the last match didn't do. So I don't know. No, I'm, I'm kind of scared. We're sitting 1 0, though. We already grabbed ourselves our first victory. I actually had a ton of fun recording yesterday's video, which was Appleton. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely get on top of that. That's an awesome video. Appleton and Pulte, guys. Really fun. Really fun combo. Probably something you guys haven't seen before, so if you guys want to check that out, definitely go to do so. But we're going to end up seeing a Weezing alongside with a Typhlosion here early on. And I could coach up here and just get this defense boost. I definitely want to go into a Terra type. And I think I'm just going to coach up Gorb Knight and go Terra type into a Brave Bird. And just get ripping into this thing early on. Yeah, Typhlosion is looking scary. I just got to make sure I terrestrialize. I could bulk up here as well, but I just think attacking this Typhlosion is probably our best call. Because, like, leaving this Pokemon on the field to just, like, erupt is definitely a bad play. And we're going to see an SL Terra type early on here from him into straight fire. So, yeah, good call, man. Just uh, start attacking this bad boy. I know I have Citrus Berry. I know that Eruption can still do a huge chunk of damage, which really sucks. But we'll see how they kind of want to play this one. So they go Fire Terror. We go Fire Terror. We got Fire Types all around right now. And Weezing's kind of just chilling here. Weezing might just protect. A lot of Weezing's do just like protect and kind of chill on the field. And we get off this nice little Coaching Boost. Lovely. So Coaching Boost up. Get that Defense Boost. Attack Boost. Eruption's going to fly here. How much damage is, is this doing? Shouldn't KO either of my Pokemon. No. Corviknight bulks pretty well here. Brave Bird now flies. We're going to take some recoil damage. We do pick up the KO at the same time, which is huge. So they don't have Terra. Pick up the KO. That's a win, win, win right there. And on top of that, our Citrus Berry is going to trigger to this recoil. And we're going to get, get back some ice HP. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I might want to Roost next turn, depending on who they have. Hopefully a physical attacker comes out here, because I would just coach up again. Dazzle Gleam is going to fly out here. Which my Pokemon soak. So we're going to coach up this Corviknight again because obviously we're choice into this. And we might just roost here. Again, really depending on who they go into. It's going to be Toad Scroll. The Toad Scroll comes out here. Probably outspeeding me, which is a little tough news. And we're going to coach up again. So coach, try to go for a roost at least. And we'll see what they want to do here. So coaching comes out here first. Love the choice scarf on this Pokemon. And hopefully Toad Scroll just attacks Corviknight. I'd, I would love to get back some roost HP. I think he's going to support Corviknight though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. So we're going to have to deal with this thing. We're probably going to get supported 60,000 times right now. It's going to get real ugly. It's going to get real ugly. There's the support. Out comes Daz and Gleam. Overnight's slowly taking damage. I need to wake up and just send a roost. That's really what, what I got to do with Corviknight. Um, who do we go into from here? I can't set Snow. Slush Rush doesn't do much. Um... Hmm. Probably just going to you, because this thing doesn't have Levitate. Yeah, I'm going to go into C-Titan here. I could maybe waste out a Spore turn and just swap into Obama Snow. Which wouldn't be bad, but I think going into here and just popping a high horsepower and doing as much damage as we can into Weezing is our best bet. And then just going for a Roost here, if we can wake up. 
acid spray is gonna come out here, which is tough news. Can you wake up, Corvo? Can you wake up, Corvo? High horsepower launches does great damage into that wheezing slot. And Corvo is slumped. So we're gonna say bye-bye to Corvo right here just because of acid spray. Near out comes Daz and Gleam. Hmm. It's gonna get mad annoying. It's gonna get annoying real quick. So if I had to guess, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. This wheezing is probably gonna sit here and protect. But I think I still might just go for a high horsepower in that slot and hope that Blizzard can land. This could just get real ugly. This could get real ugly real quick. Because <laughs> you might spore my Sea Titan, which I really don't want happening. I just Ice Shard you. What's your typing, Toad Scroll? I know you're grassing. Grassing what? You're four times weak to this. I'm going to go for Ice Shard here. Actually, no. We're going to go for high horsepower. High horsepower into a blizzard. Let's do it. There's a spore. Maybe I should have just ice shard it. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Let's see what he's got cooking here. Blizzard, can you land? Double land. Give me a double land. I'm try I'm tired of being spore spammed. Out comes the Dazzle Gleam. Does decent damage. Blizzard is gonna double land, which is great. Picks up the double KO. That is huge. Now snow is going to get set. Turns into a 2v1. See, Titan is slumped. And everything's gonna get a little weird depending on who the final Pokemon is. But get on out of here, Toad Scroll. Mad annoying with Weezing. So annoying with Weezing. <laughs> so annoying with Weezing. Just spore, spore, spore. And out comes probably the worst Pokemon we could have asked for. And we don't have Terror type. So that's pretty much game, unless C Titan can wake up here. Which I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, I should probably maybe just protect here. Did I die out to a Heat Wave? I'm just gonna protect. Oh, man. See, Titan, wake up. Wake up and land this liquidation. Do me a favor. Nope. This seems like it's game. Unless you can soak. I mean, you have a salt vest. You go for quiver dance. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. You gotta wake up, Sea Titan, though. You gotta wake up. I believe you should still outspeed here. Your slush rush boosted. I know he's plus one on speed. It's kind of cutting it close, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna hope that you're still faster. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to try to go for a blizzard. I mean, it's not going to do much damage. Sea Titan does wake up here. How much damage is Liquidation doing? Go ahead, Sea Titan. Oh, my lord. Sea Titan, soak. No shot. No shot, soaking. GG's. GG's. Came down to the wire, bringing Volcarona down into the red. Heat Wave doing us dirty. They Quiver Dance at the perfect time and had the perfect late game Pokemon. So we're sitting one on one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. So guys, I got good news. We're not versing Weezing in match number three, but we are going up against T-Tart and Extra, one of my favorite weather combos of all time. They also got Indeedee and Sneasler. Then they got Corviknight just like us. And on top of that, they got Magmar. Now, we got to bring in our Snow Squad because we got to win the weather war. That's first and foremost. I don't think I'm going to lead them, but we definitely got to bring them in here. Um, for our lead, we could honestly go Kilowattrel. I think Kilowattrel actually works really well here. And I could also maybe just go into Clodsire. Get things going with Clodsire, right? Yeah, he you got Yawn. You could be a nice little annoying pester Pokemon. You could be. Plus, we pair up you two. You got this charge. Yeah, you know what? We're going to leave both of these guys. We're doing this. We got the nice little, what is it? An Albatross, I believe. It's like a giant Australian like seabird <laughs> with Gladsire. And then we got our Weather Squad in for the late game. I'm all about it. I am all about it. So let's see how this one turns out here. Could be because in match number one and match number two, we use Cinderace and Corviknight, both matches, for the lead. Now we're switching it up. I do like Kaladzai here, especially with Kilowattrel, because I can discharge freely. And Extral and Magmar are going to come out here. So, with Extral and Magmar, um, I could just go for a Yawn here, maybe, into a Pokemon. But I'm thinking of just setting up a Tailwind, just to get some sort of speed control. And... Probably just dropping a high horsepower. Into Extral. I'd rather do damage in Extral than Magmar. Kind of force him to go for a follow me. You could have Will-O-Wisp with the Magmar, but kind of just force you to go for following me here. So Tailwind flies for us. Clod Sire, get that speed boost. And Extra is still outspeeding us. Clod Sire is a slow little Pokemon. <laughs> Real slow Pokemon. So Heat Wave's going to launch here, which is fine. Does respectable damage all around. And High Horsepower is going to fly through into the Extra. Do some great damage. Um. Okay. So from here, 
I think I'm just full switching and pivoting out my Corviknight here. And maybe just hazing this turn. Just getting rid of these attack boosts, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So we end up withdrawing Magmar, and we're Volt switching the same turn. He's going to outspeed us, so which is, the, which is the problem. Actually, Kilowatchel might actually outspeed, which is good news. Kilowatchel should outspeed. Yep, awesome dope. So we're going to be able to Volt Switch and pivot into our weather at the perfect time. Even though we, we might take some big time damage here. Hopefully he goes for one more Sword Stance. That'd be really nice. Go for one more Sword Stance, just so I can haze it off you. Just so I can get rid of it. So we got out of Bama Snow. Um, I could see a Rock Slide potentially coming out here. He's just going to go for an Iron Head, which Clontire soaks. It's beautiful. Thank you, Clontire. You bulky little Pokemon. Haze flies through here, and now's a perfect time for us to set up a War Veil. Now is a perfect time to set up a War Veil. So I'm going to get some leftovers HP. Um, I might even yawn the extra drill. But now we're going to go War Veil here. Now's, like, now is the most perfect time to set this up. And on top of this, we are just going to actually high horsepower this slot. Because I think Titar swaps in like Magmar again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Your Corviknight comes out here. Corvo, Corvo, and EQ is going to launch. Can you soak this Codsire? Mm, I was hoping Codsire could soak that. That's fine. Obviously, it's super effective, but it was a crit, too. It was a crit, too. All good. I'm able to get off this Aurora Bell, which is massive. And now we got Aurora Bell and Tailwind. Now I could just go into Sea Titan. And save our Kilowatcher, which I think is going to be our play. Just go see Titan here. And he's going to swap into Weather, and we're just going to Ice Shard this, uh... This extra drill down. I think that's got to be our play, right? The thing is, we should be able to soak up these shots. I think he swaps. I really do. So I kind of just want to go Energy Ball into this slot. I really do believe he swaps here. I could go Water Terra. Let's just show KO the extra. You know, I'm going to do this and I'm just going to get Water Terra and I'm going to send it over into this slot. That's what I'm doing. So we still have Kilowatcher, which is really good news. We're going to use our Terra type right here, right now. Got a War Veil up. We got a couple turns left in Tailwind. Not bad. Not bad. And with Terrasalize, they're not swapping, which is kind of odd. It's definitely odd. I would think that they would want to swap here. And Liquidation is just going to fly. So we could have just taken out the extra, which could have been really nice. Liquidation does decent damage. And Iron Head's going to launch in this slot, which we're going to be able to soak. Thank you, Aurora Veil. Are you doubling down? Actually, we outspeed, which is great. And we get rid of the extra. So extra gone. Excadrill gone. Now, I think you're going to double down with a Brave Bird here. No, you're going to end up going for a bulk up, which I don't mind because both of our Pokemon are outspeeding. And I know a Blizzard can KO Corviknight, which is really good. So they're going to come in here. Tailwind's gone. Actually, we're not outspeeding anymore. But their Tailwind's gone. And T-Tar's going to come out here. So Tyranitar out and about. Um, I really don't think we swap for weather. I think we just kind of apply pressure here. By protecting and probably just liquidationing this T-Tar. Because if I get a Kilowattro without, like, Titar, I mean, Kilowattro can just kind of do some dirty work on the Corviknight. So I'm going to end up just protecting the Bomba Snow here. We're going to we're gonna see a Terror type, which will probably be Titar here. I hope it's Corviknight, and it, but it is Titar. The Titar comes out here with the Flying Terra. I get off some Ice Moves, man. Ice Moves can do some damage to this thing. There's that. Nice little Protect from the Bomba Snow. And Liquidation going to fly. So we're still outspeeding both these Pokemon, which is actually really good news. Liquidation going to do decent damage. And Ice Spinner should be able to finish that off. And Corviknight's going to end up roosting, which is very scary. Especially after a nice little bulk up. But again, I got Kilowattle here, who could do some work here. Going to end up blocking this Rock Slide. Going to land into Sea Titan. Sea Titan soaks decently well. <clears throat> and Buffets are going to fly through. Alright. Alright, so now we're here. Um, I could... I could swap a bomb of stuff if I want to, but I really don't care to. I really, I really would rather just have Kilowattle, but from here, I'm just going to try to land a Blizzard if I can, and just go for an Ice Spinner and finish off this Titar. to be honest. 
to be honest. Ice Spinner flies. Should say bye bye to you. T Tar gone. Their terror type's gone. The Corviknight's now just like the scary Pokemon on the field. Again, Killer Watcher can hit this thing hard. I just have to start chunking up some damage onto this thing. And there's a Brave Bird. He'll chunk up some damage onto himself. Alright, slight issue here. Sitting at a slight issue. I can't discharge because I don't have Protect, but how much damage can Volt Switch do? That's the real question. How much damage can Volt Switch do? I could just protect this turn and just see what he wants to do. And kind of just attack this Magmar. But I'm thinking Discharge can can get the job done, right? Which that, I really do think that's our play. I really do think we just protect you. And we just do as much damage as we can to this Magmar right now. Definitely our play. Because we know Kilowatch is outspeeding. The thing is, is Kilowatch able to KO with Discharge? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Heat Wave's gonna fly. Magmar is fastest on the field right now. Please do not burn my Sea Titan. I have an odd feeling this is burning my Sea Titan. I really do. I really do. Okay, it does. It. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Liquidation flies with the Terra Boost. It. How much damage are we ripping here? It's a good chunk of damage. And depending on what he does here, he's gonna roost. Do I discharge? I got a bolt switch. I got a bolt switch. I got a bolt switch. We're gonna bolt switch. I'd rather discharge, but I got a bolt switch because I cannot KO my C Titan. So we're gonna do that. Um, do I double the Corvo? No. We're gonna attack the Magmar here. Heat Wave, please do not KO. Actually, no. We sh eh. Heat Wave has a chance of KO my my Kilowatch will here. Magmar protects. Alright, hold up. Hold up. Bolt switch. How much damage are we doing here? How much damage are we doing, Volt Switch? Solid damage. I don't think this charge was KOing. Liquidation gonna get blocked. And if he KOs my Kilowatch here, that's game set match. That would be game set match. Yep, there it is. Brave Bird launches. Actually, hold up. We soak, but Buffets are gonna KO us, which really, really sucks. Buffets KO us. That's terrible. Um, If I can KO this thing with, like, an ice spinner, we could win. Because Magmar cannot KO, but you probably want to go for a follow me, right? Oh, this is ugly. We had to we had to KO what's called first. This is you 100% go for a follow me here. I have to KO Magmar first. Yep. Follow me, Roos. Follow me, Roos. Seems like it's gonna be the play. Maybe I should have dropped the discharge. The problem. The problem with that is if I discharge there, I don't think I KO the Corviknight, and I KO my my what's called at the same time, my Sea Titan, so it would have been a rough call. If I would have had Protect, it would have been a whole different ball game. It would have been a whole different ball game, but he's going to end up doing that. Um, our best bet is to actually use Liquidation. Liquidation is doing the most damage out of these moves. And maybe we can just hope for a crit. I think that's kind of where we're sitting at, because... This ain't doing that much damage. He's gonna have him just keep constantly going for bulk up. So yeah, we're kinda at, at a point in the match where we need a crit. If the Pokey guys are here, they'll give us a crit to win this game. Roarvelt gone. And we're, we're, again, we're just looking for a crit. We're gonna play this one slow. We could probably only take... We might only be able to take one more Brave Bird now that he's bulked up again. But yeah, we need a crit on this next shot if we even get a next shot. They're gonna give us next shot. I can't believe they're bulking up this much. I really cannot believe they're bulking up this much. Which blows my mind because they just keep giving us chances to get a crit again and again. So, crit here. Pokey guys, help me out. For the Gene channel. Nope. Go for another bulk up. What are you doing? Just attack me. Just hit me. I hope I win this game now. I hope I crit up. I hope I get like a mega crit here, dude. This person deserves to lose. They really do. They really do deserve to lose. Doing way too much. Doing way too much. Go for another bulk up. Do it. Do it. Power trip. Wow. <laughs> Power trip, really. Hilarious. GG's, though. We got one and two for today's video. I thought we showcased this team really well. So, guys, we'll take that one on the chin. One and two losing records. Still feel like we showcased this team really well. See, Titan and Obama Snow were amazing. Same thing with Corviknight and Cinderace. And then in the third and final match, we got to showcase a little bit of Cloud Sire and Kilowattro, and they actually did really well.
But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.